Hi, welcome back to the channel and the college process. Once again, I'm Ed from Principia Prep, and today we're gonna to be going over the three types of college lists for artists, photographers, musicians, film students, or actors. But before we start, if you are new to the channel and are looking for additional college content, please hit the subscription button down below. It will notify you when new videos do come out. As well as you do enjoy today's video, please leave us a like, it does help the channel. In addition, if you have any questions on today's video or any videos we have here on the channel, very simple, leave your questions down below. Every Friday going forward, we have a new format where we'll be answering all your questions you guys leave here for the entire week in video format and placing it on YouTube so that everyone can get answers to the questions you guys leave here on the college process. In addition to that, we're also continuing to run the James Russell Memorial Scholarship going forward every year now for seniors out there. So if you wanna be eligible for our organization's scholarship program this year, very simple. Down below in the description is the link to the James Russell Memorial Scholarship, explaining to you guys how the host scholarship program works, as well as also down below is also our organization's Venmo, as well as our buyers of coffee, if you wanna help support the channel, allowing us to keep making these college videos for you guys out there. And with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. The three types of college lists for artists, photographers, musicians, film students, or actors. Now right off the bat, let's just say that this is not a list that kind of incorporates the reach, target, or safety schools. And obviously that should be everyone's list, whether you're looking to go for artistic approach or business or engineering or pre-med or anything really. Every school list should have the reach schools, which are the difficult schools to get into. Then the target schools, which are kind of like the 50-50 schools. You have a very good shot to get into, but not guaranteed. And then the safety schools, obviously the easy schools so you get into based on your students' academic profile, so on and so forth. Now this video is not that, by the way. This video is explaining three different types of lists to have depending on how much you want to pursue and how committed you are to your craft, essentially. So this list is a little bit different. So let's start off. Now, now starting off with the three lists, let's start off with list number one. Now list number one is essentially the most committed list, essentially. Where you're looking at schools such as Cal Arts, Mika, SCAD, Parsons, Pratt, RISD, Juilliard. These kind of schools were essentially, let's call it conservatories as well. These kind of schools, which essentially what you're looking to do is work on your craft. That's what you're doing here. There's no going to these schools and then becoming a marine biologist, let's call it that way, or an accountant essentially. What you're doing is you're going kind of all in into your craft. Now for this list, your student has to already be essentially committed. And I don't mean like they just want to do this school and it's the only thing they're thinking about. I mean they have to have a resume that's a few pages long. They have to have a lot of experience within the field. So if they want to be an actor and they've done acting gigs or they have an agent or they've gone and done a lot of stage production as far as they've done a lot of acting, let's call it, and they have a lot on their resume, then yes, this is good to go. Or if they want to be a photographer and they've been doing photography for years and years and years, they do it at the high school, they place their stuff in different events and for different contests as well. They've basically done as much photography stuff as they can get involved in. They've done maybe summer programs, maybe they've done winter programs. Basically, they're fully immersed into the thing they want to do. This is not something, this list is not something for the student who just came out of nowhere and decided they wanted to go into acting or they wanted to be a director and they never done anything as far as writing screenplays or any acting or have no idea how to even edit a film, then this is not the right list for you. This is the list where the student is fully committed and has been doing this for a very long time and has a lot of background to indicate that yes, this is the direction they want to go in. So this is not for the hobbyist, let's call it. This is for somebody that's fully committed to their craft. This is not the one that's going to be changing their mind at any point in time. And if they are, then you really should be looking at essentially here, list number two. Now list number two is kind of a hybrid. Schools that offer both the craft they want to go into, the artistic approach, whether it be filmmaking, whether it be directing, whether it be acting, whether it be photography, music stuff, whatever it is. And they also have the core classes, the econ, the English, the bio, the made, the, uh, basically all the basic stuff everyone else takes. Schools like NYU, schools like University of Denver, USC, Temple, schools like Fordham, schools like Boston University, schools that essentially have both the artistic ability to be able to do what you want on this side, as well as have the basic majors, let's call it the business, the education, that kind of stuff, where they can go in either direction here. So you're kind of like hedging your bets, let's call it. This is basically the students that are not 100% either committed or not 100% sure which way they want to go. So it essentially gives you guys an out. This list here, list number two, kind of gives you the out of staying with a craft if you want to kind of hone your skills and go in that direction. Or at the same time, you can change your mind going back in the traditional way of going to college where you're taking the business classes and so on and so forth. So you can go in either direction here with list number two. Now that we have the first two lists out of the way, the, the fully committed list, let's call it, and then the list that the student's not quite sure or doesn't know which direction you want to go in just yet, let's talk about list number three. And for this list, I call it my 80-20 list of schools. And let me explain to you what I mean by my 80-20 list of schools here. 
Now what these schools are, this is basically the safety school list for the students who are considering artistic fields of any kind really. And what I mean by 80-20 is you're looking to go to a specific region, typically the United States or wherever it may be, that fits what you're looking to do. So just to give you an example, if you're looking at acting, you're looking at New York. If you're looking at film, you're looking at Los Angeles. If you're looking at music, you're looking at, let's say, Nashville. Just different locations. And obviously I understand there's different groups of music that go in different locations in the country and so on and so forth. But I'm looking for safety schools in the region that you has what you want to do. Whatever it may be, photography, film, dance, whatever it is. I'm looking at these safety schools from a perspective of, I will be going there spending 80% of my time working on my craft. Maybe not at the college, but networking, getting out there, meeting people, practicing, doing everything I need to do, auditions, so on and so forth. 80% of my time is spent essentially on non-academic events, utilizing those four years or five years in college to try to get my foot in every door possible to try to keep my career going in the artistic field I'm interested in. And the 20% is spent working on the homework, the academic side, going to class, so on and so forth. So the 80-20 rule for me specifically means you have to get a safety school in place, a place where your student can essentially good, bad, or indifferent. I hate to put it this way, but it is what it is. Your student got to coast through academically. So the academic side will be there. They'll graduate with a degree, but really the main focus here, 80% of their time is spent on their craft, going to auditions, doing the photography, doing the singing, whatever it may be, being in a studio, so on and so forth. Most of their time, essentially almost all of their time essentially, is spent on their craft. And a very small portion, 20% of their time, is spent on doing the academic side of it. Third list may be colleges on there that are safety schools that doesn't even have what you're looking to do. Maybe they don't have photography. Maybe they don't have anything to do with music. But you're in a location where you can work on the music. You can work on the photography. Basically, the location is more important here than the school is. Now, the safety school can also have different internships available for you for specifically your artistic approach here. And let me explain with you what I mean. The third list, especially since it's safety schools, one of the places I'm looking to go to in the safety school realm, one of the places on campus is their career development center. And I'm really looking to do this for all three lists, but specifically here for the safety school, because we're not going there in many cases for your major, we're going there to kind of just buy time, let's call it. When I'm going to the campus, my main focus is going to the career development center from this point of view. I want to go in there and ask the career development person who is basically helping me get my internships, my co-ops, essentially part-time work, whatever it is, to get my resume started. I'm asking them, I want to be a photographer. What do you have available for companies that need photographers? I want to be a film student. I want to go into direct, I want to be a director. Do you have anything here for companies to work with Universal Studios or Disney, so on and so forth? Or I want to be a singer. What do you have in here that allows me to go and follow my path, my passion, my craft, what I want to do? Your main goal, especially for the safety schools, is figuring out, is there anything available there? Do they work with radio stations? Do they work with networks? Do they work with anyone where I can be within that realm of what I want to do while spending a little bit of my time on the academics and basically all of my time on my craft. And when it comes to art students, obviously it encompasses a lot of different facets here. But the reality, when you go off to college, you essentially have four years of your life, which you are an adult with no adult responsibilities. And let me explain what that means. Those four years can be used to craft the path in which you go to as far as your career. So why not utilize those four years to essentially get in and do whatever you want to do. Those four years should be honed in using as much of your time either at the school that provides you the ability to hone your skill or a school that's very easy academically where you can get out there and network and do everything else you can with 80% of your time focusing specifically on your craft. That's the way I typically look at an art student. So for me, art students are always the same. They're going to fall into one of three of these categories. Either one, the fully committed list, which is just art schools. Or two, essentially a hybrid of I have a chance to go the artistic direction or I can go back traditional. Or three, the safety school that has basically a hybrid of list one and two. Or just academic schools where I know I'm going to do very well and have plenty of time to focus on my craft because I'm in the area, geographically speaking, where I can go do what I need to do. That's the way I typically handle or I look at any art student I'm dealing with or any family who has an art student I'm dealing with to help them out figuring out what the right college list is for them out there. Now obviously you can take all three lists and basically put it together and have a little bit of one, a little bit of two, a little bit of three, but just things to think about as you go through the whole process, especially out there if you are looking to be an art student of any kind. 
And all that being said, if you do like today's video, please leave us a like. It does help the channel. As well as, once again, every Friday going forward, if you guys have any questions you guys leave here on the video down below or any questions you guys leave on any of the videos here on the channel, we will be answering all your questions every Friday in a video format. So every Friday I'll be making a new video, answering all your questions, putting on YouTube so that way everyone has their questions answered so everyone can be able to go forward with their college process. And all that being said, on the screen is my contact information. If you need any help in the process, whether it be admissions, financial aid, or really anything college related, please feel free to reach out. I do sit down with families on a one-on-one -on -one basis through Zoom. On the screen is my cell phone number, which is the easiest way to reach me, either text message or phone call, as well as you can email me if you like as well. Other than that, thank you for watching today's video. Once again, my name is Ed from Principia.